Hey there, this is Dave Benzman with Benzman Home Computer Repair, and today I'd like to do a short video about what to do if your computer is stuck in tablet mode. Uh, a lot of people are not familiar with the fact that Windows 10 can be put into what is called tablet mode. And if you're a regular viewer of my videos, you'll notice that my desktop does not look the way it normally does. Uh, I normally have a bunch of icons right here. And the reason why it doesn't look like it normally does is because I put my uh, desktop into tablet mode. If you notice, I'm right clicking right now on my desktop. I'm not seeing any menus coming up. Um, if I click on, over here, it brings up tiles. It doesn't bring up my icons. And that's what tablet mode is. It's designed to work uh, with tablets. Uh, if you hit the wrong keys, you can trigger this and it will be difficult for you to use your computer if you're not used to using tablet mode and so here's how you switch it back into desktop mode if you find yourself in this position where your uh, computer looks like this or it looks like this minus all these um, tiles uh, the way to get it back to looking the way you're used to where you've got all your icons on your desktop and right clicking actually does something is you want to click right here on this little cog in the lower left hand corner clicking on this cog in the lower left hand corner will give you access to the settings now if you don't see that you can also click up here in the all apps section that's these lines with these numbers and then go scroll down to where it says S and there's settings right there. So you can either click right here, this cog in the lower left hand corner, go into your uh, all apps, click on settings. Either way, it's going to bring you up to your settings. And then the second thing you want to do is you see up here where it says system, you want to left click on that. And then over on the left, you're going to see something that says uh, tablet mode right there. You're going to left click on that. And then right up here, I purposefully set this to use tablet mode so I could demonstrate this. It should be saying use appropriate mode for my hardware. Um, if that does not work, then you may want to just select desktop mode. I, I always want desktop mode. Uh, if you're on a desktop and you don't want to use your computer as a touchscreen, definitely select desktop mode and make sure this has always asked me before switching and then you're going to go down to your Windows Start button and right click that's click once with your right mouse button go to shut down or sign out and put, just put your mouse over that and then put your mouse where it says sign out and then it'll sign you out and then you'll come back to everything being the way you're used to seeing it so I'm gonna go do that now and then I'll be back so you can see now everything's back to the way it ought to be I got my icons I right click on the desktop I can bring up a, a right click menu when I left click there it just basically is the way it was and uh, when we go back to when we left click on the on the Windows start button then we left click on the settings button and then we go to system in the upper left hand corner and then we go to tablet mode on the, in this menu here we can see it says use desktop mode always ask before switching it's what we want what we want to see and that's how that works so don't let that confound you all you have to do is just run through those steps and you're going to be a-okay i hope everybody found this video to be helpful if so please like and share uh, the video please also subscribe to my channel and if anybody's in the memphis germantown bartlett Midtown, Collierville, Cordova area, and you need in-home computer repair, please feel free to call me, Dave Bensman, at 901-830-4362. And as always, stay safe.